What's up guys, it's Dusky, coming to you today with kind of a tip video, kind of not. This one's more for the spouses or significant others or parents of anglers. I'm going to tell you the five best and most needed things that your angler needs. Let's say that you have an angler close to you that you want to buy a gift for, for his birthday, her Christmas present, their, any, just a random present. And you have no idea anything about fishing. That's perfectly fine. I'm here to help you out. We'll start things off with fishing line. This is one of the most important things that an angler can have, and they probably don't have enough of it. So you're saying, hey, what kind do I get? I don't know anything about it. That's fine. If they're anything like me, they probably have a thousand of these sitting around the house, halfway unspooled with fishing line still on it. Go pick one up, go figure out what brand they like. I recommend personally, Seaguard, that's my favorite line. They're gonna want 15 to 20 pound test fluorocarbon. So 15 to 20 pound test fluorocarbon of whatever brand that they prefer. So that's number one. That's gonna be found at just about any sporting goods place, any outdoors kind of place, they're gonna have fishing line. We'll switch to number two now. I would say probably the second most important thing that any angler is gonna need is hooks. So what I would suggest would be what's called a three-aught extra wide gap hook. So it looks like this. And it's called an extra wide gap hook because there's a wider gap in the middle. My preferred brand with that and probably 90% of the anglers out there are going to use Gamagatsu. It comes in a blue little sleeve of hooks. I think there's four or five of them in there. Uh, so you're going to want to get those uh, extra wide gap three aught. So it's going to be three dash zero on the actual can on the actual sleeve there are different sizes of hooks that can go either up or down you can make the hook thicker or thinner you just want normal three aught hooks that are extra wide gap all right so number two was hooks number three i'm going to go ahead and keep on the same path here we're going to go with weights these weights are made out of tungsten they're called bullet weights they look like little tiny bullets if you look at them and my preferred brand here is Picasso. I think they're like right around three bucks for three or four of them. They're fantastic weights. You want to go with a weight of three eighths ounce, so three slash eight ounce. That's kind of the standard weight. And I can guarantee you that whoever the angler is probably goes through a ton of these weights. They're gonna come in different colors, everything like that. It honestly doesn't matter. Black is fine. Also, there's a color called green pumpkin. That's perfectly fine as well. I'd say anything outside of those two colors is probably not gonna be your best bet. I would say black or green pumpkin. But remember, they need to be tungsten. So tungsten weights, 3 8 ounce, black or green pumpkin, bullet weights. And that should about do it. So. Another one that we're going to look at here is going to be plastics. There are so many different options of plastics out there. How do you know which one to get? So there's a couple different options that you can go with. There is the one that just about everybody uses. It's called the Gary Yamamoto Cinco. It's five inch long. You always want to go green pumpkin magic. It is the most popular color out there and it's probably the best color out there as well. If they don't use it, they should be. But another good option is the Zoom Trick Worm. So also in green pumpkin magic, there's a couple of other things out there. One of the most important things about doing this is you don't wanna go out on a limb and take a guess at something because chances are it's probably not gonna be something that's used by the person. Usually people know what they like and they use only that. The last thing that I'm going to go into is a couple swimming baits for you. There's always a good chance that your angler is going to throw what's called a spinner bait. So it has 
two blades on it. They don't have to necessarily look exactly like that, but you want to get either white. So the color of this material here needs to be white or chartreuse. Chartreuse is a color that a lot of fishermen use and it looks like this. So it's really bright and it's really, it's used very, very often by a lot of fishermen. So the weight that you're gonna to wanna to go with for the spinnerbait is three eighths ounce. So that's how much this one weighs. You can go half an ounce, but I would suggest three eighths ounce. If you wanna get one of each, that's a safe bet as well. There's also another option that's called a lipless crankbait. Strike King makes a fantastic one called a red eye shad. They look like these. There's one half ounce and then there's one quarter ounce. I would suggest getting one of each. Red is a great thing to get in springtime, whereas this sexy shad color is good during summer, fall, other times of the year. So red and sexy shad color. Lipless crankbaits, these are called red eye shad. So that's gonna be the swimming baits that I was talking about. That's basically everything that's mandatory in a angler's box. They have to have line, they have to have hooks, they have to have weights, they have to have swimming baits, they have to have soft plastic baits, which are like the worms that I showed you. If you do wanna go a little bit more expensive and get the person a rod or a reel or something like that, I would highly suggest asking the person's preference because like I said previously, the person probably knows what they like and they don't really wanna use anything outside of that comfort zone. Well, thanks for watching guys. I really appreciate you guys coming out and watching the video. I hope this helps you guys out a little bit whenever you're trying to select a practical gift for your significant other or spouse or kid or anything like that. If you guys found this helpful, go ahead and hit that like button for me down there. Also subscribe for some more tips that I've given out and some fishing videos every once in a while. Hopefully I'm gonna be getting a fishing video coming up this Sunday. As always, thank you guys so much. You guys have a fantastic rest of your week and a great weekend.